I'm Sarah from the Wix Design Studio. In this tutorial, I'll show you how a design expert uses the Wix editor to create an image-based asymmetrical grid site. You can use this for a personal portfolio or project site. I'll start by creating an asymmetrical grid of my photos. Then, I'll show you how to create an inner project page and link it to an image inside the gallery. So, let's get started. First, I'll go to Wix and choose a blank template so I can start from scratch. I always start by saving and naming my site so it will autosave in the future. I'll create the header and project menu. First, I'll place the header text and customize it. Then, attach it to the header so it stays fixed to its position and appear on all pages. To create a sticky menu, I'll drag the site menu onto the header and right click to pin to screen. I'll set the position to top left then adjust the horizontal and vertical offsets to 90 and 30. All right, that's great. Now I'll rename the home page Work. Next, I'll create the layout for my home page using a gallery to showcase my projects. I'll go to Add, Gallery, and choose the Wix Pro Gallery. Under Manage Media, I can upload all the images I want to use I can reorder their appearance in the gallery and name each photo. Now let's customize the layout and create a full width gallery. By clicking stretch, I can span the full width of the screen and then I can adjust the margins to create a nice white border. I'll set mine to 80 pixels. To change the layouts, I'll go to settings, click layout and choose grid. I can create the asymmetrical look by choosing the thumbnail resize to fit, so the images keep their original proportions and set items per row to two. I'll increase the spacing to 100. In preview mode, you can already see the layout coming together. I want to also customize the default hover mode so it's solid white instead of transparent black. I'll click on the Pro Gallery, go to Settings, Design, background and icons, and change the color overlay to white with 100% opacity. Now I'll need to go back to change the text color on hover to black. As you can see, when I click on a photo, it automatically expands, which is really nice if I want to use it as just a gallery. But since I want to link my photos to inner project pages, I'll need to change the gallery settings so each photo opens as a link instead. I'll create a project page first and then come back to link it to a specific photo. So I'll create a new page for the first project and name it America. I'll drag it under work so it becomes a sub page to my home page. In preview mode, you can see I now have a drop down menu that has automatically updated. On the inner project page, I'm going to add another pro gallery with all the project images. Just like I did before, I'll delete all the default photos so I can add all my project photos and then reorder them. This time, I'll change the layout to strips because I want each photo to appear in a row with the same dimensions. I'll stretch the gallery to full width and add margins that are 40 pixels. I'll click and drag the gallery to the top so it overlaps a bit underneath the header text. And that's it. In preview mode, you can see the gallery project I just created using the same Wix Pro Gallery, but with a completely different layout. Now we'll go back to the home page to link the America photo with its inner project page. So I'll click on the project gallery, choose manage media, select the America image, click on link, choose page and select America. Now to make sure each photo in the gallery opens to a link under Settings, instead of Open and Expand, I'll choose a Link Opens. In preview mode, you can see that now, when I click on the America image, it links to the Inner America project page. So that's it for this quick tutorial on how I use the Wix Pro Gallery as the base for a portfolio website. You can use the Wix portfolio template to easily achieve the same result or play around with the Pro Gallery and create your own unique look. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next tutorial.